Right guys, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna be covering questions 14 and 15 from the 2024 paper one. Both of these questions are in the psychopathology section. Question 14 is a multiple choice question that you can see on your screen now. And question 15 is the one that we're gonna be spending the majority of our time on. That is a six mark application question on the two process model. Okay, there's question 15. You can see the stem on your screen now. Give that a quick read through. I've also made a few little notes on that stem as well, just so that you can see the kind of things that I'm going to be focusing on. The two process model of phobias is, of course, the use of classical and operant conditioning to explain the acquisition and the maintenance of phobias. But this is a six mark application question. And so we need to make sure that we are applying to Ken at every turn. Okay, so just bear in mind, there will be no marks for simply explaining the process of classical conditioning, even in relation to phobias, without referring to Ken and Prince and the fact that he got knocked down and all of that. Okay, so if you're going to talk about phobias, which obviously you are, make sure you are talking about the STEM. Okay, right, let's jump over, have a look at the model answers. So here comes our multiple choice question first. The two emotional characteristics of, a, of, a, of obsessive compulsive disorder are low mood and self-loathing. Moving on, question number 15. Here comes the model answer for this. Okay, now first off, I have done a little bit of color coding here. So I've color coded for classical conditioning and then I've color coded for operant conditioning and I've done a little in between for something that doesn't really fit into either. So we've got that first little line two process model suggests that Ken's phobia was acquired through classical conditioning. There's no marks for that, it's just a little bit of an introduction. So you can now see how we are applying. So before the incident, dogs were neutral for Ken, producing no fear. However, when Prince knocked him down and broke his arm, the pain and the shock of being knocked down and having his arm broken acted as an unconditioned stimulus because nobody teaches Ken to experience fear as a result of pain and shock. And that unconditioned stimulus triggers an unconditioned response of fear. Since then, Prince has become a conditioned stimulus, okay, because Prince was present at the time of the traumatic event. He caused the traumatic event. He is now a conditioned stimulus producing a conditioned response of fear, okay? So that's the classical conditioning element. We've now got this kind of in-between bit. So the stem also tells us that Ken avoids all dogs, which which means that he has also undergone stimulus generalization. So there's a little bit that doesn't really fit into the classical or the operant conditioning bit, but it is a behaviorist terminology that you will get marks for in this question. And then to finish off, the shorter bit of this answer is the operant conditioning section. So Ken's phobia has been maintained through operant conditioning. He avoids all dogs, and in doing so, he reduces his anxiety or he experiences relief. And that reduction of anxiety acts as negative reinforcement for the avoidance behavior. And that negative reinforcement is ultimately what is maintaining his phobia over time. Okay? So that is the model answer. That is what we are looking for. I hope it's all made sense. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, which will be the final question from the 2024 Paper 1.